I feel very grateful today because I can take some time off matters at home and film this video. But today we'll be heading out with my RF 600 mm lens and uh, my R6 to take some more light photography. So right now we're making a little pit stop here and I'll be bringing you through some of the gear that I brought today with me. Let me just introduce the RF600 in my R6. We'll be shooting some uh, wildlife today. I'm now vlogging on my 200D with my 10 to, 10 to 18 mil lens. Otherwise, I have other knickknacks, my lens cleaning kit, some insect repellent. Yeah, for audio, I'm now on Ceramonic Blink 500 and as a backup, I have my Boya BYM1 Plus um, shotgun mic. So with that said, it's very good weather today, a lot of people exercising. Just take a look. Okay, we'll be heading out now. Let's go. So we've now reached the iconic Red Bridge. It's at the moment, golden hour, very beautiful sights. Okay, let's head up now to Coney Island, which is a short cycle away. So just ahead is the east entrance of Coney Island. Yeah, the weather here is very good today. Nice bright sun, not very much clouds. It might get really warm later, uh, but occasionally you get the cool breeze, which is welcoming. The other thing is, I'm now decked out in dry feet top, long jogger pants. Hopefully that will also keep the nasty sandfly situation away. I had a good look at the map yesterday evening. There are some bird heights out there in Coney Island. The one that I'll be heading out to will be at, I think it's beach area D. Hopefully there won't be too many people around there because I get really conscious about myself vlogging. Yeah, but let's not waste time. The sun's coming up, let's go. Yep, we have reached 300 meters away. Alright. So I'm now at the beach area D. There's a shelter here, it's called Jelity. Got a setup shop here, saw so a lot of birds flying around, but before that, let me get you on a tripod and you will sit right here. Mosquito patch. Got my action cam right here so that you can get some POV view of my shooting. there were two uh, birds that were playing around in the, the trees. Going too fast, too small, couldn't catch them, not gonna catch them, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see them. Uh, but right up in the canopy, uh, I found a few uh, birds, the yellow ones, I don't know what they're called, but they're just uh, sitting there chilling out. And I managed to get some shots of them. here are quite ferocious actually. Bird height coming up. <sighs> I like this setup because it's relatively lightweight compared to all the other uh, super telephoto lenses that I've uh, seen in the market. Obviously, I haven't owned anyone, but this is a entry-level kind of uh, super telephoto. Um, other things I, I like about it, there's the image stabilization. Uh, image stabilization is very useful because in taking wildlife photography, especially on a super telephoto, everything becomes very narrow. So um, you really need to be very stable. 
especially with the R6, which has in-body image stabilization. So that's very helpful for beginners like myself. Autofocus wise, pretty good, especially for stationary subjects. Using the animal eye autofocus, you can really pinpoint your focus very well. However, there are times where I do miss focus, uh, but luckily with that, I practice my dual back button focus uh, using my AF on button as well as my star button right here. So initially I was very worried about the F11 maximum aperture. Luckily the R6 has very good low light capabilities. And also I guess you really got to choose your battles. Obviously don't go out in a, in a rainy dark day. Like today is a very bright sunny day. It's really good for it. At uh, this juncture, I've already given up on moving targets. Um, really cannot seem to catch any of them. So I'm right now um, back at the signpost that leads into beach area D. I may just sign out right here. In the meantime, if you have any comments or any suggestions, any tips and tricks that you have for me, especially if you are living locally and have been here to Coney Island, let me know what are your tips and tricks, what time to come in, where's the best place you can capture wildlife photography. But with that, um, I'll sign out now. Maybe I'll still hang around to take some photographs, but uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!